In this video we are gonna see 10 top apps that most people will be able to benefit from and make a decent amount of money without any skills, experience, or money to invest. Coming up. Hello friends, I am Zach, from Online Income. I'm a part-time engineer and part-time freelancer, I will help you make money online, sharing my experience with you to help you achieve your financial freedom. You already do everything from banking to handling your bills via smartphone, so why not use your phone to earn money too? I tried to pick the best app to make money from each of those categories. Filling out surveys, savings, and making money. Investing. Automatically earning rewards. Price drops. Selling used items. Grocery shopping. Mystery shopping. Health conscious folks. And small gigs. Let's start with the first category, filling out surveys. There are plenty of ways to earn a bit of cash online. But one of the longest running, reputable companies for this is Swagbucks. Swagbucks is free to join and you can use the site as often or as little as you like. The primary reason for signing up with Swagbucks is to earn rewards. Here are the ways you can do that. You can earn money on Swagbucks just by searching the web or watching videos, taking surveys, inviting your friends to join or even shopping in the shop and earn mall. You earn Swagbucks for shopping through major retailers and service providers. You can also complete special offers and vote in the daily polls. Finding swag codes, finding messages or specific strings of text throughout swagbucks.com. The second app we are gonna see is the best app for savings and making money is Capital One Shopping. Capital One Shopping is a powerful app that crowdsources pricing information from millions of online shoppers. By taking advantage of this powerful tool you have a chance of saving money. There's no cost to use the app, so there's no risk if you want to give it a try. The third app is called Mistplay. You can make up to $50 of rewards per month on Mistplay, but you will have to put in a lot of game time to reach that. It is hard to control how many units you are able to earn every single time you play, but you can control the amount of time you spend in each game. Make sure you play for at least 5 minutes every day. You get bonus units when you keep your playing streak growing. Misplay is the only loyalty app designed for mobile gamers. It recommends games it thinks you'll like and gives you points for every dollar you spend. And I, well, I spend money in games. Sue me. Most loyalty programs give you back like 1-2% to max. Misplay gives you 8%. Literally all you have to do is launch your games with the Misplay app. That's it. Just keep doing what you're already doing with Misplay. Download for free in the Google Play Store. The fourth app is called Survey Junkie. While your teen won't get rich off of this app, they certainly can earn a little bit of pocket money on the side. They are a part of the company Blue Media Ventures. This online survey app rewards you in points that you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to various retailers. Depending on your demographics, you can earn anywhere from $2 per hour to $5 per hour completing surveys on Survey Junkie. However, filling out surveys is not the only way to earn money on Survey Junkie. You'll also become a candidate for focus groups. The fifth app is called Poshmark. You can actually make money on Poshmark selling new and used clothes. If you list quality items, take good photos, participate in the community, and provide great customer service, you can make $500 to $1,000 a month or more selling clothes. Poshmark is a perfect side hustle for those into fashion. The sixth app is called Snag a Job. It is a job listings board where job seekers post their credentials and employers advertise their jobs. It's similar to other job boards like Indeed, CareerBuilder and Monster, but with a shinier coat of paint. Snag a job makes its money by charging employers to advertise. One job listing is $89 per month or an employer can post three jobs for $249 per month. If you're a job seeker, it's free to join. 
Next app is Care.com. Working as a caregiver is rewarding in many different ways. You have a flexible schedule and get to help people on a daily basis. But if your bank account needs a little extra boost, use Care.com to make more money. Teens can use this app to find their next babysitting gig. Just know that if they're under 18, but at least 14, then you, the parent, must register for an account as well as your teen. Parents receive all communications that their teen does, so that you can monitor any interactions. App number 8 is Upwork. Does your teen have a service to offer someone else, such as writing articles, conducting research, graphic design, etc.? They can download the Upwork app, create a profile, and start applying to jobs. You can get paid in one of two ways, hourly or fixed price. Upwork's fees are the same for both. Your hourly rate on Upwork is the price before the service deduction. So if you list a rate of $20 per hour for your first gig, you can expect to earn $16 per hour after the 20% fee. Everyone on Fiverr starts offering services at $5, so I do 125 word videos for $5, which is about a 45 second explainer video. Altogether, between the email and making the video, it's probably 2 to 3 minutes altogether. I earn probably $150 an hour and do about 250 to 260 gigs a week. For newbies, instant success with Fiverr isn't all that common. For one thing, it can be pretty hard to get your listed gigs seen and purchased when you're just starting out. The last app for today is called Freelancer.com, according to Payoneer's data. The average freelancer worked 36 hours a week at a rate of $21 per hour, for an annual pre-tax salary of more than $39,000. This was significantly higher than the average salary for non-freelancers in most of the countries in the survey.